It's to the cheers and cries of his supporters that Dr. Denis Mukwege announced he was running for president. On Monday, the 2018 Nobel Peace Prize laureate, known for his work against sexual violence, declared his intention, condemning the state of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Hours later, he spoke to France 24. Our country is in a very bad way. A very bad way, quite simply because of a security situation that is becoming alarming. Our country is in a very bad way because today, in the east of the country, we have more than 100 armed groups. We have foreign armies that have come to the DRC, but this invitation has not been discussed in Parliament. The surgeon turned presidential hopeful will be facing off against two veteran politicians. Incumbent President Félix Tshisekedi and Lamuka Coalition opposition member Martin Fayulu. Son of the former head of the opposition, Etienne Tshisekedi, President Félix Tshisekedi is running for a second term. The ruling majority, the Sacred Union of the Nation, designated him as their official candidate on Sunday. Comrade Félix Antoine Tshisekedi Chilombo has been nominated and invested as candidate for President of the Republic. The nomination is based on the wish to see Félix Antoine Tshisekedi finish what he started as the head of the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2018, he ran on an anti-corruption and authoritarian platform. His adversaries, such as Martin Fayulu, say he failed to keep his promises. On Saturday, the member of the opposition threw his hat in the ring for the 2023 bid. He came in second during the controversial 2018 race and has been contesting the results ever since. Fayulu said that even though the opposition failed to have the electoral roll re-audited, its pressure had produced some progress. We are going to continue to fight to demand greater transparency in the elections. Potential candidates have until the 8th of October to declare their election bid before the Congolese people take to the polls on December 20th.